Hey guys, I'm back. Someone had a question. Why do certain diseases go into remission during pregnancy? It's very interesting. There's this switch-like mechanism that turns off during pregnancy and certain conditions actually go away temporarily. MS, rheumatoid arthritis, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, that's a hypothyroid condition, and something called uveitis, which is an autoimmune condition that affects certain parts of the eye and other parts of the body. Now, what's in common with all of these conditions? They're all autoimmune diseases. Now, what is an autoimmune disease? It's a condition where your own body is attacking itself. It makes antibodies that go against itself, okay? It creates an inflammatory condition, and it's the inflammation that creates a lot of the symptoms in these conditions. Now, they did isolate an enzyme that's inhibited when a woman is pregnant. It's called pyruvate kinase. This enzyme has a lot to do with communication channels in the body. And by the way, calcium is used in the cellular communication. So it's involved in calcium signaling and the increase in cytokines, which is involved in the inflammatory process. So when you decrease this enzyme, you basically decrease inflammation. Now, in 1938, there was a Dr. Hench who was in Mayo Clinic. He's a rheumatologist. And he observed that these symptoms disappeared during pregnancy and came right back when the baby was delivered, which led to the discovery of compound E, which we now call cortisol. Now, what's the relationship or the link between cortisol and these autoimmune conditions? Well, cortisol treatment or prednisone is used to decrease inflammation in autoimmune conditions. So cortisol is the anti-inflammatory. The problem is when you give it to someone, it has some real serious side effects. It might work temporarily, but it creates a lot of problems long-term. And another interesting thing about this is that cortisol is made by your adrenals and the adrenals are a stress gland. And there seems to be always a stress event that occurs right before a person develops these conditions. Now, if you have these conditions, I would recommend two things. Number one, do everything you can to improve your adrenal glands, okay? To improve your natural ability to make cortisol, okay? That's number one. And number two, I would do intermittent fasting. Why? Because fasting is the most powerful thing to decrease inflammation. And just by decreasing inflammation, you can greatly decrease the symptoms of these conditions, okay? If you're new to my channel, I put some links down below of exactly what to do. All right, talk to you later. So if you've personally benefited from the information that I put out in my videos, I would love to actually see your success story too. I put a link down below so you can upload your before and after pictures with your story.